hello everyone so in this video we are going to start a new topic which is treasury and risk management and treasury and risk management basically involves the management of money and the market risk which we are facing so we have just closed in the another topic which is cash and liquidity management so initially we just analyzed the cash and liquidity management of the company so cash position tell us the current liquidity and liquidity management tell us the future forecast for the money so after analyzing the cash and liquidity of the entity we are going to start the treasury and risk management so let's say in let's take one example so we our cash position accountant just analyzed that we are going to have a shortfall of the money so we will have a shortfall of the money so it will trigger the treasury and risk management department that if we have a shortfall of the money so we need so we need to borrow money so in the another case let's say we have excess money so it will also trigger the investment department so we have to make some investments so after the treasury uh, we have to analyze the risk as well so we have the market risk so as per the rule of financial management so there if we have higher the risk so higher the return so we have multiple types of investments we can invest so here let's check out so we can invest in multiple types so we can invest in equity we can buy the shares we can issue the loan notes so we have multiple types of investments we can do the acquisition as well so we have multiple types of investment options available so here we can have if we want to borrow the money so we can have bank loan so uh, we have multiple types of options available so we have to analyze the risk of the market so if we want to take higher risk so we will get the higher returns so let's check uh, here uh, for the equity we will have the higher risk because if the company gets liquidated so after the debt after paying the debt of the company so we will get the money back but in that case we will have higher returns because we are going to have dividends so we have a share price share price will increase as well so we have multiple types of returns so dividends and share price will, will also increase we can also do the trading of the shares and we can buy at the lower price and sell at the higher price so all depend upon the performance of the company so it if we have we are going to uh, do investment in the depth we are going to give some loan so we, to another company so we will have lower return but it's fixed and after uh, if the company if there is some scenario if the company gets liquidated so we are going to get return after selling the assets so after that after paying the debts of the company the amount returned to the equity holders so in that case we will have a lower risk so this is the rule of financial management if we have
higher risk so we are getting the higher returns so after analyzing the cash and liquidity So after analyzing the cash and liquidity of the company, its treasury and risk management decide, uh, management department will decide that where we are going to invest. So these two topics are different. So first we are going to cover the treasury and after that we are going to cover the risk management and we are going to do all the back end configurations and front end processes for both for treasury and for the risk management so let's check out what's in the treasury so in the treasury so treasury involves the management of the money so in the treasury we are going to we have multiple types of products let's say money market so it involves the loans and investments and we have forex as well so we can uh, do the forex swaps as well so multiple types of forex uh, my product types so we will cover this and we will create the product types and create the contracts and so after that we have trade finance this covers the LCs letter of credit and for this we are going to do the integration with material management as well so after that we have securities which involves the equity so we have multiple types of securities so we will create the product types for the securities as well after that we have derivatives and we have hedging as well so multiple types of hedging swaps as well so commodity hedging so we will cover this so after that we have integration with third party for gathering let's say uh, for the treasury department it needs the data from internet let's say some websites are going to provide the data like uh, like Bloomberg as well so we are going to uh, upload the data of interest rates exchange rate trade finance we will cover the integration as well and we have another option of uploading the data just download from the website and after that upload in SAP S4 HANA so this will automate the process so because we need interest rates as well uh, for the calculation of loans so uh, multiple types of, of loans are available in money market so let's say we have fixed loan variables loan so for the variable loans we need the interest rate and for the kybor libor so that type of interest rates will be required and after that we need exchange rate for the forex and trade fire uh, trade price of the shares and for the securities so for this so we will upload the external data as well for the calculation of our financial entries so after that we have the risk management so the risk management in the risk management what we are going to do we are going to analyze the market risk portfolio risk and credit risk so portfolio is we will create the portfolios of different investments and different contracts we are in the contracts we will mention the portfolio so we will aggregate same type of product types so for safe uh, for aggregating same type of contracts we are going to use the portfolio there is one field in sap uh, we will also create the portfolios as well so after that we just cover these are the activities so there is only uh, one transaction management uh, transaction manager is used so uh, in the transaction management treasury and risk management activities will be involved so there are three types of activities which will be performed first one is the front office activity the front office will do the contract with the bank and for with trader as well and first we are going to create the contracts and after that we are going to perform the rollover because when we are going to cre create the contracts we are going to input the expiry date as well so after that uh, we are if we are going to renew the contract 
we will perform the rollover after that we have to do the termination so after the end of the pro contract we are going to perform the termination as well so after that front office activities we have back office activities and in the back office we are going to perform the settlement of the contract and netting and correspondence with the other entities so after that we have to do the accounting so accounting we just perform one activity there is one t code so in this t code we are going to perform all the settlements so just like it's just like uh, with uh, the settlement of the order in the co we, we see that q88 is used for the posting so like this in treasury we are going to use one t code tbb1 so here using this t code we are going to perform the financial entries so let's say uh, we just get the contract and create the order for one investment or one loan so what we are going to do we are going to create the contract and our order so in the contract we just specify the date of the loan repayment period so after that we are going to create the financial instrument where we are going to specify the amount interest rate repayment month repayment amount so when we are going to perform the accounting what the system will do it will create one cash flow let's say we just get $1000 and the $1,000 have 1% 1 interest rate. So what the system is going to do, it will create the cash outflow cash flow will be created using the flow types and transaction type where we are going to see there will be positive 1000 after that we are going to have outflows for 1% interest rate and after that we have outflow of repayment so it will be performed by the system automatically we just post these entries automatically in the financial accounts so we have the option of payment request as well so first the payment request will be created and after that we take the payment request and perform the automatic payment program so these are the activities which we are going to cover in treasury and risk management so it is part of so it's a part of financial supply chain management FSCM. So we will cover this and see all the details of Priory and for the risk management in detail in the further sessions. So thank you for watching this video.